Hello, my name is Ryan, and welcome to the 29th Sex Soil. This time we're going to be going through build crafts, namely pipes and engines. To start with build craft pipes, you have to have a wrench. Very, very simple to make a wrench. Just need a gear and some iron. That's about it. Okay, so the first type of pipe you'll be looking at is not this one. It is very basic stone and cobblestone pipes. These are item pipes, so they can just carry items. If you put them next to each other, they'll link. However, cobblestone and stone do not link. They have the same function, they're a basic slow item transport pipe, but they do not link. Very useful for having them parallel to each other. Next up is quite a fun one, an item distribution pipe. So let's just join some other pipes to it. Now if you right click on it with the uh, with something that's not a pipe in your hand, you get this interface and this can change how many of what goes to each side. You can see this colours green, yellow, blue, light, blue and light blue. So, say I want, for everything that goes in here, I want 40% to go to light blue, 40% to go to dark blue and 10% to, to green and yellow. And for everything that goes in there, 4 will go one way, 4 another, 1, 1 and it will keep repeating. It does do some procedure procedurally so when four go in four go to that one then to that one and then one there one there okay next up is a wooden transport pipe uh, this needs to be used with something else can be used with steam engines I don't use it too much but it can be useful when I do use it basically it can pull stuff out of things it needs an engine to function I'd recommend using a redstone engine for this because they require no power where steam engines require coal to function. Well, I accidentally showed off, showed off two engines. There's also combustion engines, which I have already showed off. Oh, I, okay, I wasn't holding on right on my keyboard then, but okay. These need fuel and water to work. If you don't give them water and only fuel, they will blow up after 16 minutes precisely, as I found out. Okay, um, let's do a bit of inventory management midway through. Hope I did not repeat myself here. I'll keep some of those on me. Alright, we're getting into some more fun ones now. Oh, I'll quickly go over golden pipe. Golden pipe functions pretty much exactly like either of these pipes, except they do not join to each other, and they do join to either of these. They join to every pipe except themselves. If you give them a redstone signal, then they will speed up any items moving, moving through them. Okay, anyways, that one was, let's come out one quickly done. Uh, is this the right one? Yeah, okay. This is an advanced wooden transport pipe. Basically, whereas the normal pipe just withdraws anything from a chest or whatever it's hooked up to, this one you can choose what it withdraws. So, say I want redstone engines taken out of a chest, or I can make it so that everything but redstone engines are taken out of a chest. Very awesome piece of kit. Here's a diamond pipe now. This is similar to the one I've already showed off. The... Uh, distribution pipe but this one it filters what types of items go what direction as you can see so if you want stuff you want more pipe waterproof to go to the black ends then yeah you do that however it's very it's very weird where you can't place anything on top of it so you have to kind of do what i just did there to get anything on top of it there you go this is a black output so if you right click all pipe waterproof passing through that pipe through that will go to black Anything not filtered will go in one of these random directions. It'll only go in the way that's hooked up though, so so with this setup, anything coming in from here would either go to green or to black if it's pipe waterproof. Okay, um I think I'll show the recipes at the end. Actually no. The recipes are very simple. Just the name of them with a piece of glass in the middle. It's pretty much like this for all of them. I mean look, here's diamonds. Use obsidian, iron, yeah, it's a very basic recipe. Item teleport's a bit more difficult, because it does require eight diamonds for eight of them, which is quite ridiculous, but they are awesome. Redstone, as you'd expect. Advanced insertion pipe's a bit different. It's like a stone one, but with a piece of redstone at the top. Uh, I'll show a redstone engine one quickly. Wooden planks, wooden very, very cheap. I've already shown a combustion engine in that special one. Stone engine's just like the wood one but with stone really, that's all I can say. Um, 
Oh, the distribution pipe's different. It's like an iron one, but with wow, these are all really, really cheap. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I need to show any more recipes for this episode. Sorry I'm not editing them in, by the way. It takes me a few hours to do it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. And with a mod such as this, it would take so, so, so long. Okay, there's my train of thought recovered. And this is an obsidian pipe. Now, I quite like this one. But if you drop something onto it, it'll pick it up. And if you provide it with power, such as a redstone engine is probably the best thing, it'll pick up anything within one or two blocks of it. It's very, very nice and very useful for overflow systems, etc. Um, here is an iron pipe. As you can see, there's like four grayed out corners. I'm not sure why, it's, why all of them are screwed up. Oh, there we go. Basically, the one where you can see there's like clear, it represents that there's like no kind of blockage there. So, what I mean is, anything that comes in through this way, that way, or that way, will only go this direction, as opposed to a random direction. It can't go through any of these, however it can pass through its one way. Okay, right, now what have we got left? We've got item teleport pipes, which is the really ex bloody expensive ones. Starters, they do not join up directly to themselves, nor chests. Um, another thing you can't right click on with pipe in your hands. But basically, if you make two of them to the same frequency, you'll see they're connected. I've made it so that one of them can receive true, then it can receive items, so I'll just use this handy obsidian pipe testing. So this one can receive, if I remember right, I hope. Yes. So these should just pass through here and come out through here. Yeah, there we go. So these are also very nice. They do cost a lot, but eh, it's worth it. It's worth it. So I'll just continue this system. Oh no. I'll show these off in a minute. These are redstone tubes. I hope I do not forget that. Oh god, do not want me to forget that. Okay, last one over here, then we're gonna move on to over there. Kinda of didn't want to show it because of this spoiler. Uh I'll show this one off over here too actually. So first of all I mentioned the redstone pipe. So I'm gonna chuck some just crap in here. As you can see I've wired it up so that it what happens is when an item passes through it, it emits a redstone signal. So I've wired it up so that this signal is carried through red eye wire to a lamp. And the lamp lights up to signify something is passing through it. Okay, um waterproof pipes. Basically all you do is craft any pipe you like with some pipe waterproof to make to make a pipe to make a stone waterproof pipe in this instance. All these do they like normal pipes, they have the same basic abilities except they can carry water. Which can be convenient. Oh no, water, oil or lava. My mistake. Oh and fuel and fuel. Anyways, this contraption is something that took me what was it? Oh yeah. This contraption took me a while to make. This is why this video's been so long in the making. But basically <laughs> the quarry is pretty much a faux quarry since I realised this was a flat wound world. But you can imagine having the setup. Stuff is pumped out of the quarry, goes through this pipe. Now as opposed to it all getting clogged into one chest, it I've put up a diamond pipe so that only all will go into this chest. And everything else goes into this chest. Now let me just turn this on. I put random crap in there, that wasn't the filter failing, it was me, kind of. And I've put a steam engine down here, so it's pumping stuff out at a nice, nice rate. But here we are, it's pumping out everything that isn't all through this advanced wooden transfer pipe. It's getting sped up by a gold pipe through some stone pipes. Then it's going one way to make sure there's no backflow through an iron pipe. Then it's going through this aforementioned insertion pipe. Now what this does, it makes sure that an item will fill a slot if it's available in whatever may be below, a chest, a furnace, etc. So you, as you can see it's full, Ugh, and it does bug out and fill the bottom slot for no particular reason. And um, yeah, you can see, oh, hmm. But yeah, it does not allow it to overflow and go all over the floor. Oh, that's not pumping out because I didn't put it in the filter because it doesn't exist in the real world. But yeah, I've made it so that this is quite a fast mass it has got upgrades, energy storage, as you can see it's depleting it very slowly, and transform upgrades so it doesn't explode. 
and I've got the Obsidian Overflow system just in case some kind of glitch happens. Uh, I've got cobble and stone running parallel just because I could. <laughs> now I've got a normal wooden transport pipe pumping into an item teleport pipe, which is linked to this other one here. Then there's a distribution pipe so that some of it goes through here, some of it goes through here, and some goes through here. I've also got it set up with a redstone tube because I couldn't think where else to fit it in really. So that if it'll detect if something's being put to this chest. Now whilst the practical uses I couldn't quite think of doing this. As you can see it's a nice automatic system. And it's very cheap, much more cheap than what you saw me do on my server. Which is a red matter generation episode 15 or something like that of the Tech It series. Anyways I hope you enjoyed my demonstration of build up pipes and engines. Uh, like, comment for more, and I'd love some recommendations. Sub if you feel it's appropriate. Thank you for watching, and goodbye guys!